Hey guys, this is BT Game Over 11 back with another video, and today's going to be a recent pickups video, and I just wanted to let you guys know this will be the last video until I leave for vacation and I might be gone for a little while, probably two to three weeks at the longest. I'm going to try to do videos while I'm on vacation, but if you guys don't see a video for a long period of time, that would be why. So let's get to the recent pickups. The first thing I got was Disney's Telspin for Sega Genesis. And I got this at a flea market, and it was a little overpriced, but it was originally priced for $15, and I got it for $10. But it's in really good shape. It's got the manual and the, car and the cartridge. It doesn't shake or anything, which is nice. And I've heard some pretty good things about this game. I've never played it before, but figured I would try it out. Now, I didn't want to go and leave the flea market empty handed so that's why I picked Telspin up. The next thing I got is from GameCube and it is Spyro a Hero's Tale for GameCube and it was five dollars at GameStop and I figured for a Spyro game that's a good deal and I didn't have any on the GameCube so it was a nice pickup for me and it only comes with a disc unfortunately but oh well. The next one is another GameCube game called 1080 Avalanche, and it was $5 at GameStop as well. And I've always wanted to try this snowboarding game out. I like snowboarding games a lot, and this is one that I've been wanting to try out, but haven't been able to yet. And it's complete. So I thought that was a good pickup for me. This next one I have on Game Boy Advance, and I'm really good at it, and I really like it. So I decided just to go ahead and pick it up for GameCube because it was really cheap. And that's Kelly Slater's Pro Surfer. And it was only $3, which is why I picked it up. And it's actually a lot better on the GameCube because obviously graphics are a lot better. You get a larger screen. It comes complete. And then I went to GameStop a couple days ago, and I'm not sure if they're still doing this or not, but they have a buy to get two PS2 games for free. So me and my friend went and we each got two. And the two that I got were Kingdom Hearts 2, which is one that I've been wanting for a long time, but I haven't had the money to get it, and now I do, so I decided to go ahead and pick it up. Unfortunately, it was $20, but unfortunately the disc is kind of scratched up pretty bad, but it's all white scratches, but it does come complete, so I'm hoping that it'll, it'll play fine. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the scratches or not, but there's a lot of little scratches. Probably can't see that, but... So, I thought $20 for Kingdom Hearts 2 was a good deal, so I just went ahead and got it. Especially with the buy 2, get 2 free. And the other one I got was Ratchet and Clank for PS2. And it was for $7. And unfortunately, this one only has a disc, too. And actually, when they first gave this to me, they gave me the wrong disc, and I noticed it before I left the parking lot, which was nice. They actually gave me Ratchet and Clank, I think it's called Up Your Arsenal, or something like that. It it was not the this Ratchet and Clank, so I had to go back in and tell them that they made a mistake so they can fix it, but I'm glad I caught that. So those are all my recent pickups, and I just want to thank you guys for watching my videos. Please subscribe to me if you haven't already, and... I'm mainly into Nintendo, PlayStation, and Sega stuff, so if you're interested in any of that, please subscribe to me, and once again, let's just go through a run-through of everything that I got. I got Ratchet and Clank for PS2, Kingdom Hearts 2 for PS2, Kelly Slater's Pro Surfer for GameCube, 1080 Avalanche for GameCube, Sparrow, A Hero's Tale for GameCube, and Tellspin for the Genesis. Thanks for watching.